last year I shared some of my fun summer self-sustaining aquarium projects with you. And then something else come up after I publish the video. Let's take a closer look at the 60 ml nursery here in the middle as they were on July 13th, 2019. There are a lot of tiny creatures and uh, something else that looks like um, the eggs of some creatures. I keep those nurseries on a windowsill exposed to direct sunlight to grow algae. Creatures feed on the algae and uh, produce waste that algae feeds on. Covers on top reduce water evaporation. It's an example of one of the smallest self-sustaining aquariums I have built. Eventually filamentous algae started growing in both nurseries. Here you can see the nurseries about two months later on September 27th. And there are nymphs, a Dempsey fly nymph in each nursery. Nymphs feed on small creatures and other nymphs. So it is not a surprise that only one nymph remains in each nursery. What surprised me is that they grow about one and a half centimeters long in 60 milliliters nursery. They got enough food to grow for two months. Here's a good view of both nymphs. This one is hunting a seed shrimp. The amount of creatures has been reduced visually in the past months. I record a time-lapse video just to check if there are any more creatures. Certainly there is not enough left to support the needs of my nymphs. On October 6, 2019, I decided to release my nymphs into a local pond. Here is a final look at my smallest self-sustaining aquariums with nymphs. Have fun and happy summer projects!